Well, the sun has set across most of the area now, and temperatures are starting to cool off again. Not quite as cold tonight, though, because we'll have more cloud cover rolling in. And that'll help those temperatures stay up a little bit. But overall, a seasonable day. Most of us today were in the 50s. Right now, we've still got low 50s. But as the sun continues to creep more below the horizon there, we'll definitely continue to drop off. Pineville already in the 40s, so have that good jacket on. We should be mainly dry, though. There is some signatures trying to show up on the radar right now. Some very light rain trying to show up uh, to our north, especially north of I-64. Not going to rule out a stray shower overnight, but a lot of that moisture there on the radar, not necessarily making it to the ground just yet. And you'll notice in most places, the sky is still pretty clear. But again, overnight, that's going to change. More moisture does start to enter the picture. We're going to build that cloud cover and we'll have some rain on our doorstep by tomorrow. You can actually see some rain off to our west right now as this cold front is nearing the area. Notice across the Great Lakes what's also showing up. That blue there, some snow. And we are going to see some flakes in our area too. Not a big snow by any means. Do not get that idea. Barely trace amounts. But we'll definitely have some colder air coming in behind this front. What will start as rain will end as snowflakes as we head into Thursday night, early Friday. High pressure takes over. Beautiful dry weather through the end of the week. It's Friday, the sun comes back out, but it's going to be bitter cold. It will not feel like fall behind that front. It's going to feel a little bit more like winter into the weekend. Temperatures tonight, though, again, around normals, really. Upper 30s, low 40s. Lots of clouds again building in. There will be some showers here and there through the morning, but Again, the bulk of the rain will come during the afternoon. Highs tomorrow still in the 50s, but it'll be the last day we're that mild. Because again, behind that front, cold air surges in. We can have some heavier downpours tomorrow afternoon. Overall, uh, that rain comes to an end, though, pretty quickly tomorrow evening. Any lingering moisture, again, changing to snow gradually from west to east after sundown, the first few hours after sundown. But not much moisture left at all. So we're not talking about a big snow, but look at what does happen. Look at the highs, 30s at best on Friday, and the wind will be picking up too. So it's going to feel even colder behind that front. Again, as far as snow potential goes, generally an inch or less across most of the area. And I say an inch, but a lot of that is not going to stick. There's going to be some warm ground issues, especially with the road. So just look for some traces, maybe a dusting or so uh, across elevated surfaces, cars uh, on the grass. Western Greenbrier, Pocahontas, there could be a little bit more snow that shows up there. But overall, we're not talking about a big one or even a measurable one in a lot of places. I'll tell you what, though. I want to go ahead and look at the seven-day, if the seven-day decides to work today. It looks like it's trying to jump ahead again, but give it a second. It will load. It should load for me. But this isn't the only cool down we're going to be getting when we're talking about the cool down Thursday and Friday. Here's our seven day. We're kind of cool through the weekend dry. And then another blast of winter early next week. Look at those teens that could show up Tuesday night, Melinda. Ugh, uh, it's not going like fall, really. <laughs>